Hello, 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 hello. You're tuning into the episode of The Wonder Can Show. Today's second topic Mike Evans is off of the board. And if y'all know what's going on, Mike Evans, yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, my dreams shattered once again being a Raven fan. That's <laughs> God. Bro, so <laughs> coming out of work, right? Put down all these hours at work. I'm there for nine and a half hours. I'm coming out thinking, oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get to look what's going on. And then look at this. I'm gonna read this to you so you can see exactly what happened. Before free agency begins next week, the Buccaneers and five-time Pro Bowl wide receiver Mike Evans reached an agreement on a two-year, $52 million contract that includes $35 million guaranteed per his agent, Daryl Gilmore. Evans now has a real chance to start and finish his career in Tampa as a Buck. Bro, bro, it's just not right. It's not fair. Like, bro, like, why is why can't I just get what I want? You know, sometimes, <laughs> you know, I was thinking just what we need. All I was thinking was the betterment of the Ravens, and instead of, <laughs> oh, the cookie never crumbles for purple ever. What hurts the most was being so close, having so much to say, watching it all run away. I don't know when or what could have been the last thing I want to do. Is what I was trying <laughs> to do. <laughs> Bro, listen. Oh. Bro, I'm so pissed. <laughs> Nah, for real, this sucks. I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. Like, bro, like, yo, I had a feeling uh, Buccaneers would do it. I had a feeling they were gonna um, re him up because you gotta understand, he's the greatest wide receiver in Buccaneers history, and it's not even relatively close. You understand? He's undoubtedly the greatest weapon on the outside the Buccaneers have ever had. Easily. Like, when you go to other teams, you have, like, runnings. They're like, oh, man, T.O. played dead. You know what I'm saying? Ocho Cinco played dead. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have different ways of looking at it. But not with this one. He's undoubtedly the greatest wide receiver that they've ever had. So it's like one of those things where it's like you you just, I wanted him to go, but there was a good chance he wasn't going to get to. He was, they weren't going to get him. And guess what? They didn't. They made sure to get him out, of the, to keep him, and he would never have to hit free agency. Shouts to a team for holding down their player, their star player, their one of their foundational pieces. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy for him. With that being said, I want to change what I had said previously. Now, in the draft, I would consider a wide receiver. <laughs> one of those 6'4 monsters. There's like four or five of them. I consider them, bro. A die day and all Xavier and all of them. I would, I would definitely, I would definitely uh what's it called? <laughs> Take them into consideration now. <laughs> ah, bro, I just, bro, I look, 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 life is about pivoting. <laughs> I know what some of y'all is going to say. So y'all going to be like, we trying to tell you, Nitro. We trying to tell you. <laughs> you know what I got to tell y'all? Finish him, daddy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> bro, but look, like I said, there's a lot of talent I did not want. Here's my thing. I wanted all of our draft capital to go to repairing the O-line. 
I would have rather through free agency we got our running back, which is I'm hoping going to be Derrick Henry. And I was hoping that we pick up one of the um, free agent wide receivers. I was hoping it'd be Mike Evans. It's looking like it could be a reunion between Marquise Hollywood Brown. We don't know. But that's what I was hoping on. And then use all of our draft capital to literally, figuratively fix the entire O-line. That's what I wanted. But now with Mike Evans gone, boy. Hey! Give me one of those 6'4 monsters, maybe. And here's the thing with the wide receivers. There's so many. The guy that ran the 4-2 the other, the, the other day, do y'all know how big he is? He's like 6'1 and a half. He's not small. And he's not even on the top 10 board. You see what I'm trying to say? There's a good chance we can get him. Xavier something. There's a good chance we get him too. So, like I said, uh, you know, I listen, life is all about admitting when you're wrong, growing, pivoting moving forward and stuff like that. And I got to move forward on this. Mike Evans is out of the wood. There's, he'll never be a Raven. And good for him. You know what I mean? He he got to win a Super Bowl with his um that team. He got paid twice by that team. His family's accustomed to Tampa Bay. They're not going to have to leave. I mean, he's going to retire there. Think about it. After this contract, he'll be play, he, he would have played 12 seasons, caught probably... 13, 1,400 yards of receiving. He's going he's gonna to be one of the top touchdown catchers in NFL history. So it's like, bruh, imagine if he gets 12 straight 1,000-yard receiving seasons. Like, bro, and he could do it. He could do it. Barring injury, he is very capable of doing it. The man is like 6'6", six, 6'5". Six, six, Runs a 4'4", four, 4'5". Four, four, he could definitely do it. And he got hands. So, you know what I'm saying? I wanted that for the Ravens, but now we got to look to other ways of making that are getting that done. Um, and mind you, Hollywood Brown would be a great addition, but once again, I want a big body receiver. I want somebody outside that can win the 50-50 ball that you could throw it up and they can make a play for you. That, you know what I mean? Or or out jostle the person, catch it, and continue to run. You know, it doesn't have to be the greatest ball because not every ball that you throw is going to be perfect. You know what I mean? We've seen some of the balls that T. Higgins have caught. Justin Jefferson, the plays that some of these guys have made, Chase has made, even Tyreek, who's not a big guy, he's diminutive on uh, on every level, um, but guess what? He's made amazing catches and plays, so that's what I'm thinking about, you know what I'm saying? I just want guys that can really go up and make plays, and, guess, and if we can get one of those 6'4 guys, well, then it works. If not, then I don't know, but that's what we're definitely looking on, but, you know, I mean, the, the other two guys, Keon, um, Coleman, and the other guy uh, that we had talked about, those are two I'm definitely looking at if they drop far enough. But, hey, I had to switch up now. Mike Evans is off the board. DeAndre Hopkins will not be available. That's what everyone is saying. I do not want Calvin Ridley. I'd rather you – know, no, I'd rather, I don't, I'm not a big Calvin Ridley guy. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm pivoting. I'm changing. I'm morphing. I'm, I'm conforming. The draft is going to have to be more than the O-line. But with how much talent there is at wide receiver, we should be able to catch one of the big-name ones in the second or third round. And that's just being factual. But I, we need to catch at least one, at least one of those tackles. At least one. And I don't want to hear no excuses. Oh, we wanted corner. Oh, we wanted wide receiver. Oh, we wanted another fullback. No! <laughs> Bro, we need talent on that O-line. But congratulations to Mike Evans for getting paid again. Shout out to him and his family. He's aged for getting it done, and he gets to, you know, finish his career where it started. A lot, most players do not get that opportunity. And Florida is not a bad place to live, especially Tampa Bay. It's nice. Uh, the school system's good. Great weather. You know what I'm saying? So he's comfortable. He's comfortable. Shouts to him. But what do you guys think? Are you surprised that the Buccaneers paid that man $52 million for two years? Or are y'all like, man, Nitro, I thought we had a chance, man. You know what I'm saying? I thought we had it in the bucket, man. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, all right? But as always, that's the episode of the Wonderkin Show. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Y'all know how we get down. We have fun and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth. 
please do remember like subscribe hit that notification bell, leave a comment you know the comments if you have not done so already check out the one that patreon yes three tiers of content goodness waiting for your consumption give it a look give it a try let me know what you think and if you'd like to help donate to this channel help out with equipment and such stuff like that Bottom of the screen, QR code, QR codes to a cash app. Cash app located in the description of every video that I do. And the name of it is Money Sign, The Wonderkin Show. Super easy. But once again, this is The Wonderkin Show. This is your host, Nectar, signing off. And as always, you know my slogan. Please. And I am out of here. Huh. Yerp.